I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with a look at your Alabama weather for Friday, July the 29th. And July really winding down. Satellite image this morning indicates that we do have a good deal of clouds across the northern Oh, about the northern half, maybe a little bit more than that, of the state of Alabama. A good deal of cloudiness across Mississippi and Louisiana as well. The surface pattern still features high pressure with most of the traveling weather systems well to our north, uh, at least in the Ohio River Valley, uh, where they're getting a good deal of rain thanks to a frontal system that is hanging up in that area. In the upper atmosphere, we're seeing uh, the results of a weakness that's in the uh, lower Mississippi River Valley or so, and that weakness at 500 millibars is helping to enhance showers and thunderstorms and produce more clouds, which is helping to keep temperatures down. So we're getting a bit of a break in the heat. I wouldn't exactly call the upper 80s cold, but uh, it certainly is below where we typically see ourselves in late July. Early morning temperatures starting the day out uh, around the mid uh, 70s for the most part, a few spots dipping down into the lower 70s, and we may have even a few locations getting into the upper 60s, but for the most part, the lower and mid 70s. Radar indicating that we do have some patchy light rain and or sprinkles around uh, parts of Mississippi and Alabama and Louisiana this morning. It looks like with that weakness aloft, we will see showers a little more numerous in coverage today. Watch warning map is somewhat uh, quiet this morning. We still have a heat advisory over there in parts of uh, North Carolina. We also have some heat warnings. Those are the reds and pinks that you see in the Southern Rockies, and that's due to that huge ridge that's over that location. QPF indicates that uh, across the state of Alabama, we're looking at it on the order of uh, one to one and a half inches of rain over the next five days. And keep in mind, this is uh, showing a uniform amount. It won't be uniform. Why? Because it's showers. Then so we just never get a uniform amount of rain with showers. Some places get wet and some don't. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a uh, large area of marginal risk in an arc that stretches from uh, southern Indiana down across northern Arkansas, across Oklahoma, and back north into southwestern uh, South Dakota. For day two, we still have no slight risk areas. We have two couple of marginal risk areas, one in Virginia and one back out on the eastern slopes of the Rockies. And then for day three, we have a marginal risk focused primarily on the Dakotas. And the tropics remain somewhat quiet, especially uh, in the Atlantic Basin. And uh, we have two areas of disturbed weather, one that is just uh, has just come off the African coast, and then a second area that is... Uh, moving across the Atlantic fairly uh, swiftly. That first one is uh, forecast by the various models to stay on a course that will take it eh, fairly straight west-northwest for the next uh, um, several days. And then for the uh, other area, it looks like uh, it's primarily going to be headed uh, for the northern part of the Leeward Islands. But it's got a long way to go just yet, so we'll watch and see how that actually pans out. All right, the 06E GFS model run this morning, and there's a look at uh, 500 millibar pattern and showing that weakness over the lower Mississippi River Valley that's going to help to create more clouds and to create more showers across parts of uh, Louisiana, Arkansas, uh, Mississippi, and Alabama. And we note, too, that uh, precipitable water values, which gives us an idea of how much uh, rain is or how much water is being held in the column. And those values are above two inches across much of the northern half of the state of Alabama. So I think we, uh, we could see some fairly good downpours uh, in the spots that do get rain. The weakness uh, becomes weaker on Saturday. And I think because of that, we will see fewer showers, especially in our area. Uh, still, we'll see showers, but they'll be fewer and far between. And we also note that the precipitable water values are now well down. That is, they're at least out of the two-inch uh, two range. Moving out to Sunday, uh, the, the uh, little trough is moving on, and we're beginning to uh, see heights rise as the ridge is beginning to make its influence felt. We note the 594 height contour on Monday as it's nosing in across the Gulf Coast. And once again, that just keeps us in uh, the possibility of showers. Uh, for Tuesday, 
the trough is uh, on the mid-Atlantic states, but that ridge is bulging in across the central plains and into the southeastern U.S., so it's making its influence felt uh, across the lower Mississippi River Valley, but I think we'll still see some showers. Now, we do have a little feature uh, that is showing up on Wednesday, and that feature becomes uh, across the southeastern U.S., and that feature becomes a little more visible on Thursday, and that is a little bit of an easterly wave, uh, a little reduction in pressure at the 500 millibar level, and this might uh, bring a little bit better shot at some showers in the Wednesday, Thursday time frame, and the GFS is suggesting that with uh, the coverage that you see uh, with the surface pattern. Friday, uh, that little feature seems to have moved over to the Mississippi River Valley, the lower part of it anyway. By Tuesday, as we get out into voodoo country, the GFS has, uh, has done something that we always uh, kind of expect. That is, you remember yesterday, we looked at um, the Gulf, the Western Gulf, and it had something that suspiciously looked like the potential for a tropical system. Well, that's gone completely. No surprise there, I'm sure. But we see this fairly deep trough along the East Coast. And then by the end of the period, the GFS has actually produced a cutoff low. And that cutoff low is migrating westward uh, 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 between the Ohio and Tennessee river valleys. And that could spell some uh, pretty wet weather for the southeastern U.S., Wet weather also means more clouds. That means a break in the heat once again. So uh, this pattern looks a little suspicious, uh, but we'll see what happens with time. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I uh, expect to have the next one posted uh, around 7 or 7.30 on Saturday morning. In the meantime, uh, always check back on the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Godspeed.